Hi there, welcome to Cannabis Secrets, I'm Marky Mark. This is going to be a bit of a montage video because I've built it up over the last few months. Um, back in October, I bought these. It's the Heli Hansen Odin 9 World's Infinity Shell Pants, which is a bit of a mouthful. These are an extremely high quality pair of over trousers and they cost £400 from Heli Hansen. And that is a hell of a lot of money. And you might ask, well, why did I get them? Why did I fork out so much? All my life I've tried to cut corners when buying outdoor gear. And, you know, occasionally you get a real success story. But with waterproof trousers, I wanted something light. I wanted three layer technology. And I wanted something that's going to last a lifetime. And with these Heli Hansons, I think I've finally found it. So let's get on with it. First, the features. So what makes these so good? Well, they just fit, as soon as you get them out of the box, they feel like quality. Um, they have adjustable waist using Velcro and then awesome zips, which are two-way, full two-way, from the top down or the bottom up, all the way up. At the bottom here, you can see additional sort of strengthening and toughening of the material at the foot. So this is sort of like, you know, a gator material. It's not going to saturate, it's not going to wet out. And actually, Heli Hansen say that their proprietary three-layer membrane technology doesn't even need the waterproofing renewed over time. It just keeps the waterproofness, the breathability, and the windproofness, you know, as long as you have them, these trousers. We've got great little studs everywhere. It just feels really well designed. So one thing I have read about this is that they're not ideal for skiing. They're so quite an athletic fit, you know, it's sort of not tight fit. They'll go over trousers and I'll put them on in a minute so you can see, but not ideal for skiing if you're wearing big boots because the you have to basically zip right the way up to get them on over boots, but you can do that. We've got a pocket in the leg here, again with awesome zip and little sort of key ring in the pocket. And then there's HH logos everywhere, which look quite snazzy, I've got to say. You know, if you care about your style, like I obviously do. Uh, and also these do include the Reco, and you might be asking, what is Reco? If we look on the back of the leg here, Reco. And if you feel inside, there's a little tag. And this is a Reco. And that means if you get lost, if you're out hiking in the mountains and you get injured and you're down, the emergency services have a Reco scanner and they will fire that out. And this reflects that signal and I think it can geolocate where you are, or at least say you're in the vicinity. Unlike most over trousers, actually got a zip here for going to the toilet. <laughs> for a man, that's quite important. Uh, a lot of over trousers don't do that. They just sort of have an elasticated waist and you've got to pull, the, pull them down. Another nice little feature is down at the bottom on the leg, each leg inside. We have got little hooks inside. So this is sort of like a gator. If I grab a boot, one of my wife's uh, mucky boots here, so that can go over the, the boot and hook in either to the laces or if you've got proper walking boots, which have a little dog tag type thing across the top, that can go over the top of the boot and act as protection, stop water getting in. Uh, into your shoe. Heli Hansen say these are fully seam sealed and they make a great play of having articulated knees for enhanced movement and a decent reinforced gusset around the bottom so you're not gonna get wear and tear around there as you walk and walk and walk. This one is a weighted trousers. Um, the website says that they're 550 grams 
So I've got this weight here. I can just easily attach them to this hook. Well, that's interesting. So 500 grams is the weight, and these are large, and the website says 550. So they are fairly chunky, that must be said. Uh, whether they wrap up small, not too bad, I'd say, into your rucksack. But they're not as compact as some of the pack light, the Gore-Tex pack light trousers, for example. Right, let's get these on. I've only got jeans on today. Um, so let's whack them over. What size did I buy? I think these are large LG. They come in five sizes. So let's hope they go over. Now remember I said they are quite a tight athletic fit and we have these studs so there's three studs here you might think that's overkill but it can stop water getting in if it's really hammering it down we've got the zip there it just all feels pretty secure and well shaped around down at the bottom I bend the knee yeah so that does fit maybe a little tight around the bum but presumably you could get a larger size now I bought these online I'm not sure what shops they're available in um, but Heli Hansen do say if it doesn't fit when you get them out uh, of the box from a home delivery you can just send them back and get a new size so as I said before we got that hook in the leg and that reinforced lower part, which I really like. Down at the bottom, we've got more studs, so we can basically zip down and then secure and fasten that bottom part once you've got your boots on. Yeah, so uh, you can pull this tight. That's quite nice, actually. So you can tighten at the bottom with there's a little lapel that you can pull through and then uh, just secure that there with the popper there are belt loops so not only have you got the velcro here to tighten if you want a separate belt you've got belt hooks and as i said there's one pocket on the side with a key ring to put your essentials in and that's fully waterproof and look at these zips they are just like absolutely weatherproof i don't envisage anything getting in well i'm gonna take these out today hopefully we get some rain but i'll report back and um, over the next few weeks i'm just going to take them out take a bit of footage to show how they behave and then i'll come back and give my thoughts I might have a really good jacket on and amazing trousers but it doesn't help if you've got poor shoes on and I just slipped these on with no laces or anything. Just walk through a giant puddle now I've got wet feet. But at least my legs are dry, I mean that's the main thing. Pretty good, I think. From the walk now and boy was it really raining so let's check out the uh, Heli Hansen Odin lines check for wetness on my trousers Ooh, ah. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I felt a bit of wetness on my knee, and you can see here that there's a wet patch. So that means water has got in. Yeah, so you can see it clearly here. There's a wet patch on the side of the jeans, and that has come right through the trouser. And that's uh, so here's the zip, and here's the knee seam here. I think the water has got in over through through that seam now. I don't think it's come through the zip itself because they look really waterproof. Unless that is a little hole there, right on the crack of the seam. I think that's where the water's got in. Okay, so welcome back to me, like uh, present tense me rather than past me. And I just want to sum up now my thoughts on the Heli Hansen over trousers. The first thing to say is the first pair I got leaked. And, you know, I was pretty disappointed by that, to be honest. When you're paying £400, you just don't expect a leak. And it was on the knee, the articulated knee, which is, you know, one of the features that Heli Hansen really pride themselves on. But basically, close to the main zip on the knee, water was getting in and I, you know, out in the rain, I had a big patch of water on my leg there. And, you know, that just wasn't good enough. And I filmed that. But I wanted to give Heli, Heli Hansen a chance to sort of put that right. So I, I basically raised a return. They were very apologetic. They asked me to send back the trousers and they completely offered either a full refund or offered me the chance of a replacement. So I took the replacement because up until that point, I absolutely loved these trousers. I really thought they were the business. And, you know, I was gutted when that leak happened. And I, I think it was there from day one, to be honest. I had noticed it, um, but it's just in absolutely torrential rain. That patch got so noticeable, I just couldn't ignore it anymore. I kept making excuses for the trousers in my head. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Heli Hansen replaced the trousers and this is the new pair. And I have not had any problems at all with this. So I just wanted to be totally upfront with you about what has happened here. And, you know, I really think it was a one-off. I hope it was a one-off. Um, if it happens again on these, I will be returning them and I won't be asking for a replacement. But, you know, touch word that the, these are okay and so I'm going to give my judgment on these trousers, assuming that leak didn't happen. But, you know, I just wanted to be up front. So you would make your own choice. What do I think of these trousers? Let's forget the price for a minute. They are exceptionally good quality. I mean, that is, there's just little, you know, positive points everywhere. From, you know, the pop fasteners, you know, multiple pop fasteners there around the waist, you've got belt hoops, you've got Velcro to tighten in the trousers to fit your exact size, you've got the zip, um, and then, you know, the legs, I love the two-way zips from the bottom all the way up or the top all the way down. And then you've got this reinforced gaiter area of the bottom of the trouser, which often gets really wet, but with that thicker material here, that is just superb. Uh, you've got the little hook here that clips onto your boots if you've got the dog tag. So that holds the trouser in position like a, a gaiter effectively. Uh, the material is fantastic. Um, like Halley Hansen say that you don't need to re-waterproof this over time. Um, so that is an amazing feature, I think. One thing I'd say on the negative front, you know, they, I have, they are a little tight fit I would say I got the large I'm six foot three potentially I could have gone a size up they they fit nice and sort of streamlined and you know you might want a bigger size uh, but you know sizing is just one of the things that you need to deal with and you know if you do purchase them and get the wrong size then you can always send them back and get you know a size bigger it's just a bit more hassle 
But actually, I, I'm happy with the side. I quite like the tight fit, but that does make it a little tricky sometimes to get your foot through the trouser when you're out and about. Yes, you can unzip, you know, as high as you want, but because it's tight, you've still got a little gap that you've got to get your boot through. And yeah, you can open it up everywhere, but it, it just, if you've got a tight trouser, it, it's just a bit more faff to get your foot through. One other little thing, there's little pop fasteners inside the leg. So not only have you got the zip, you have, you have these little tags which pop inside the leg. And I don't really know what they're there for, if I'm honest. It sort of feels a bit like over-engineering. Um, and it's just a bit of a hassle to keep doing all these pop fasteners. I would have been happy, happy just with the zip on the leg. Uh, but, you know, it's there if, if you need it, I think. Pop fasteners everywhere. The ones down at the bottom can be a little hard to fasten in, just to, just to pull that back and get the pop fastener on. And then when it's cold, and then you've got to press that pop fastener in. And has it connected? You know, so I'd say there's a little over-reliance on the pop fasteners. They're not my favourite thing, but it's a churlish little point. I like the articulation of the knees, the gusset. These are really, really quality waterproof trousers. Then you've got the Reco reflector, you know, and I hope I never have need of that, but I do like the fact that Heli Hansen put these Reco reflectors in. And, you know, as I say, if you do get into trouble, the emergency services should have a Reco. It's effectively radar or sonar or something like that. And it reflects off and locates where you are. So I'm quite happy with that. All the zips are YKK, fully waterproof, and the thigh pocket as well. And I've kept stuff in this thigh pocket. Got a little key ring inside, and that works really well. I like the color. I mean, you could say, yes, you can only get black, maybe some other colors, but if you're gonna have one color, I think black is the one. I probably would have bought black anyway, even if there was a range of colors. So, yeah, nice. And I, I like the HH logo here, looks quality again. So overall, these are fantastic waterproof trousers. So let's get down to the crux of it. 400 pounds for these. You can pick up, you know, Berghaus waterproof trousers for 100. Gore-Tex Pro, you know, 200 maybe. 400 pounds, is it worth that? And uh, it's really difficult to say. I've got to say they're the best most feature rich set of waterproof over trousers I've ever seen. So from that side of things, yes. Do you really need them? Probably not. I think you've got to be fanatical about going out and wanting the best. Um, and you know, I, I'm that kind of gear head who does like it. So as it stands now, after about three months of ownership of these trousers, I'm really glad I've got them in the locker. Would I recommend them? Yes, I would. Uh, but you're going to have to make your own decision. I'm, I'm not going to say go out and get them. There is a lot of cheaper uh, budget waterproof trousers that can essentially do the same thing. They might not do it as stylishly or as well, but ultimately it's just a pair of over trousers. And in my heart of hearts, I think 400 pounds is too much. It doesn't need all this over engineering. And if it was half the price with less pop fasteners, for example, you know, I'd probably be happier. But would I recommend them? I've got to say, yeah, check them out. There's a link in the description below. Uh, maybe they're discounted in Black Friday. I haven't checked recently, but have a look and then, you know, have a think about it. But overall, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we'll be back soon with loads more reviews and outdoor stuff so uh, please like and subscribe uh, it helps with the channel and I'll see you next time bye for now